We thought it would be extremely important for our children to have a place where they weren't just a number, they weren't just another body in the desk, but that, that teachers and people around them recognize their own individual talents. Our district cares about kids. The community, the schools, businesses, teachers, parents, they all rally around our kids. Those human resources that make uh, school meaningful, make learning meaningful, it's all about those connections, connecting those relationships. Our district's ability to pull together in times of stress is probably one of the nicest qualities that people can have in a school district. And a lot of schools in the state are looking at us and looking at our uh, school improvements as a guideline for them. And we feel like we're very on top of whatever it is that a student needs in order to be successful. The atmosphere is great, the people there are great, you make good friends and you have good teachers and it's just a great place to be. My husband and I moved to this area about 10 years ago. At that time our oldest child was only about three and a half. So when he was about four and a half, a year into our stay here, I, I went to visit our elementary school. And I just went to visit the kindergarten teachers and ask them about what happens in kindergarten, what can we expect for the next year. And I had the warmest welcome I've ever had. You know, they welcomed me into the building. Come in, we have some time to talk to you right now. Come into our classroom. Let us show you what we do. Here are some videos. Here are some books. This is what you should be doing to prepare your child for kindergarten. And I right then thought, okay, this is going to be fine. And, you know, every step along the way has just been this incredible eye-opening experience that there are other people in the world and in this community specifically who care about our children seemingly as much as we do. They certainly care about their education as much as we do. We have an open door policy and we encourage patrons and parents to walk our halls, sit in our classrooms. It is truly a partnership between parents and school. We also have excellent teachers. They function very well as a team. No one is out for themselves. I just believe that Minidoka County is a very strong district, that we've done some amazing things, and we're very often ahead of the bar in terms of what we're doing for students. It's less about learning facts because there's so much information available to this generation. It's more about learning how to learn. So the fact that our students are um, growing and they, they work hard to be uh, good to each other. We're helping them develop into great citizens. No one gets under the radar in this school and I believe that's how the schools in our district are. We're able to uh, make sure that every child is successful. I think that the education that I've got here is just, it's kind of opened me up a little bit, getting me ready for college. At Minico, you are able to take dual credit classes. So there, I'm almost a year done with college. The group of students we have here, they want to learn. We've got a lot of success in, out in the community from students who've graduated from here and other students want to do that also. Our activities, sports, all that has really become top-notch in Idaho. I was on the varsity wrestling team all four years and as a junior I won the Idaho State Championship. One of my highlights definitely got to be going to state in soccer this year. I've been in student council and that's way fun to be able to lead and I'm on sports teams and basketball, track and volleyball. Being part of the orchestra has got me way better in both my skills and music. We actually got an award from the State Department this year for one of the most distinguished schools in the state. So those are all things that makes us an excellent school and a fun place to be at. In Minidoka County we have a lot of awesome alternative programs as well as professional technical opportunities from ag and nursing to construction to opportunities within the technology field. 
that give kids the opportunity to receive college level credits. We have some excellent special programs. We have a day treatment program which provides students with individual, family, and group therapy. We have pet therapy, equine therapy. We go out to the youth ranch and work with the horses. We have martial arts, which teaches self-respect and discipline. Right fist. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Yeah. Instructional intensity and student engagement is at an all-time high. And what that means is each teacher tries to make learning intense and fun for students. And when it's that way, students learn more. And we try to make sure that children are eager to come to school, they feel safe and secure, and that we can help them develop academically, emotionally, and socially. I have a son who, he, he's just a smart little guy, and he was ready academically to move to a higher level in a math class. But socially, he really wasn't ready to be with older children. The, the principal was so kind, and she really just kindly sort of led me through that understanding that while academically he might be able to handle that, socially that might be difficult, but that we have something that we can do. The school district is now offering online courses, and they were willing to, to help us to work it out so that he could take math in an online way through this program and still have all of his other coursework happen in the schools. And so they weren't saying, no, you can't do this. They were saying, let's find a way to have this happen. Let's, let's push this child along who has this skill, but let's not put him in a place where he's gonna not have a great experience. I mean, learning has changed. And uh, we've got to use technology so that kids get engaged in learning and are getting the skills they need to compete in the world we live in, in the workforce today. But I've never felt that I wasn't welcome. I've never felt that my input was not appreciated. In Minidoka School District, we found that there are teachers and aides and people who are just willing to go above and beyond and really seek out and, and, and identify each child's strengths and weaknesses and then do things to enrich. There's some excellent, wonderful things happening. We've got great kids, we've got a great community, great things are happening. Come see it for yourself. We welcome your involvement and participation in Minnesota County Schools. They're your schools. The open doors and open arms and come in and let's find a way to make education work for everyone is really the, the motto that this school district lives by.